Hi everyone and welcome. It is Karen here with you today. Today I am going to share with you a design for scrap effects. So I'm working in my small dilutions journal and I've already pre gessoed my page and got it nice and dry. And I've got some um, rice papers here from scrap effects that I really want to use. So I have this cathedral window. So I'm going to glue that into my book with some gel medium. Um, I'm using a Liquitex matte gel medium and I also have this images here of the girls posing and I particularly liked this one here. I have been watching Emily in Paris um, the last couple of days so I guess this is what has inspired me. She kind of reminded me of Emily in Paris with the big cathedral window so that was yeah <laughs> anyway so I'm just going to glue her down into my book with some the same gel medium and once I've got that dry I've decided to add in some modeling paste and I've got the light and fluffy modeling paste here um, I don't know what brand it is it's nothing special but I've got the um, art deco stencil here and I decided that that would look really cool with my Emily in Paris and the cathedral windows so I've added that in as well and I made a bit of a mess with it so I'm just mopping up my excess <laughs> and I will go wash my stencil too here in a minute so clean all that bit there up okay so now that we've done that and we've got it well somewhat dry it's not completely dry it's just a little bit dry I'm gonna start adding some color so I've decided to use a little bit of um, the gloss sprays from Dina Wakely I've got Heather mineral and carnation and my carnation would not spray <clears throat> So annoying. anyway once I got that dry I decided to brighten it up a little bit with some Lindy's um, and I'm gonna spray them on and I'm actually going to grab a baby wipe here and just a knock it back a bit. So it really takes away the real brightness of the colour and makes it nice and soft and lovely. So that was a little bit of cathedral green, I think it's called. And now I've got some yellow here as well. And again, I'm just doing the same thing by taking away the excess colour because you always end up with so much. So... Um, I've also sprinkled on a little bit more blue as well. So now what I've got is my watercolour pencils and I'm going to colour in my lady. Give her some lovely skin flesh coloured body there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> now I have some indigo um, purpley blue colour that I decided that I would do her skirt in. And I'm also going to add in some more purple here in a minute, um, which oh, that's what I just did. And I've watered that with the um, using my little paintbrush there as well, just to spread the color out. And I've actually removed some of the color as well, um, just where I wanted it to be a bit brighter. Next thing I'm going to do is add some color into my windows here. So again, with my watercolor pencils, just scribbling a little bit and then adding my water on my little paintbrush to spread it around so I'm going to put some green up here in the big window I mean you could really go to town here I've only just done it really basic but yeah it does it's a good picture like if you really want to get into coloring in um, it's a good one to do for that so yeah I think that looks pretty cool now I've got this little scribbly butterfly and it's taking me a little bit to decide where I'm going to put it <laughs> it's like do I want it down there do I want it up there but in the end I decide to stick it up the top and I'm just going to pop some of my favorite art glitter glue onto the back and pop that into my book and I've managed to wipe off all the excess glue that was on the silhouette on my fingers so I've just wiped all that up now I have this quote here from the journey craft words um, oh what does it say oh the um, the um, oh I can't read it 
it's about the whole world being at the bottom of your feet. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't read it on the screen. Anyway, it's, um, it's about being free and freedom and exploring and that kind of thing. And that's kind of what led me to the Emily in Paris and being free and exploring and with the butterfly and that kind of thing as well so that's what I was doing there that little script stamp is just from paparazzi I just wanted to add just a tiny little bit extra in some of the blank areas and now I'm just doing a little bit of scribbling around my edges and of course around my quote and that will finish off my page with a little bit of stabilo um, just to create a little bit of a shadow here on my Emily I'm calling her Emily Anyway, here's my page. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Um, watch Emily in Paris if you haven't already. It's on Netflix. It's really cool. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.